All right, so checking in again. Uh, this is one of uh, my life's goals and dreams. Uh, here I am uh, on the top of Masada. Uh, it is very exciting. I'll do a little zoom around. You can see some of the uh, remaining ruins of the fortress and palace. Uh, really neat. So I'm going to flip the camera around and show you a little bit about what you can expect to see if you ever make so it. So I will start with the view. As you can see, we are very high up. There's the Dead Sea. A vast desert. Uh, remaining uh, some of the ruins. Uh, the black line there represents uh, everything below that is original and everything above was restored from elements here. And so this is just the beginning of Masada. Uh, it's a very long way down, uh, but we will continue uh, to show you more. So when I say that the desert is less sandy and more rocky, um, this should give you a good idea of what the sort of desert that we're talking about here. This is not the sort of thing you see in the movies. It's very rocky uh, and not really sandy. So I am now entering the bathhouse at Masada and I'm going to uh, turn this over for the first time, I think, in this trip to Gary and let him, uh, I'm going to record some of his discussions. So. Yeah, that's rushed you because only half the group is in. We're a small group. I actually talked to Ian. All right, I have to talk quickly because we're not in line with just us. There's other people. Shh. You notice how it was made beautiful by Harry. You notice how the floor was covered. You can see there's only remains a few people because when I was here, half the floor had tiles and people peeled them off. So now we're under a closed circuit TV. So if you're thinking of doing it, you will be caught, okay? <laughs> anyway, beautiful tiles. Now, this was a beautiful room. It is cold because all you need to do is be in the shade here with this stone and it does stay cool. Look at the bathtub on the other side of the room. Is it beautiful and fancy? Yes. Oh, look no. at that bathtub. I mean, no, I mean, no. Yeah. <laughs> look, look at this bench. The pillars you see here, since he did not have access to marble, are little pieces like Lego that fit together with a peg and a hole, and, they're, and then he plasters them and paints them like frescoes. Somebody took apart pillar pieces and built a functional be bench and built a functional pool because they didn't want fanciness. They wanted to live a simple life. This is African here, clearly. But they did want to use the water system that brought water in here. What is this thing? It's so beautiful. Here you go. Gary, can I get you a good smile for me? You're going to be able to see it. Very good. Yeah, I can be in shadow. I'm just trying to have my posture when we draw pictures of this. This is a great picture. We have some storage rooms at Masada. Uh, these are all over the place. They were used to hold food uh, and to keep it safe. Okay, friends, we will discuss this later, and this will be a topic of uh, an evening of conversation. But for now, I will just let you read this. All right, friends, I know that this does not do this justice, but hey, it's the best you're going to get until getting here. Gravitate over this way. Here's our guide, Gary. He's awesome. <laughs> yeah, well, no, not live. This is for my congregation back home, so he's the uh, he's the man that's spreading the knowledge. I'm, I'm a reflection of oh. <laughs> Gary and I are kindred spirits for sure. His wife's even named Sarah, and he lives in Galilee, so that should say enough. Okay, so this video is going to be really quick because there's a large crowd. Uh, here we are at the lower terrace. Again, we're, we're getting a lot of videos of Masada because it's really sort of uh, me nerding out on this trip big time. So, here we go. The road that you see, the trail that you see off there in the distance, uh, right there, 
is actually the ancient Roman, Roman road to Jerusalem. So then. There we go. The lower terrace, lower balcony. To the place I belong, West Virginia, now mama, take me home, country roads. What are the chances, folks? Uh, that's nuts. Around me. It's a theme song of my homeland. <laughs> How that happens, folks, I don't know. God's miraculous. Take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia, Mount Mama. Take me home, country road. Actually, see here if you look carefully the path he built for the people to take the donkeys down and fill them with water and come up. And he needed so much water up here. The only way to get from down there up is to carry it. That's why I'm saying a thousand people up here to keep the build the, the mountain functioning. So Herod visits. Now, here's the thing: Herod dies, right?